Hey Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is Tina with 85th House Vibrations, and this is your general reading for September 2018. It's getting a little dark in here. The sun's going in now. We might get rain. Uh, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with everybody, but I hope you've managed to take something from this. -da -do -do -do. I already forgot what I wanted to say. Aquarius. Let me get all the preliminaries out of the way. I know I'm forgetting something, but we'll get back to it. We are using the Everyday Witch Tarot by Deborah Blake. And if we should need to use clarifiers, we will uh, pull from the Rider Waite Tarot Pocket Deck. Let's go ahead and pull three cards. I know something I'm missing. I do want to say, okay, the moon is currently in Gemini. I always tell you guys that... It is Labor Day weekend here in the States. I don't know what other parts of the planet may acknowledge that, but happy day labor happy Labor Day weekend to you if this is you know something that is acknowledged where you are and if you even care. Uh what else do I want to say? Couple of things. Aquarius, your traditional ruler Saturn is actually going to uh, resume its direct motion today. It, it leaves retrograde. And I forgot to say this to Capricorn and they are the first person, people that I should have said it to because Saturn is also their ruling planet. But uh, yeah, it, it actually leaves retrograde today. Uh, it's going to take a little while to pick up full speed. It doesn't leave shadow until, I want to say, December 2nd, December 12th. So even though it is going to resume its direct motion today, it's going to take a while for Saturn to start completely doing its thing. Um, the other thing is next month, Venus goes retrograde, but it has entered shadow today. So I feel like it's important to start talking about this because these things are about to slowly start to appear in our day-to-day -day lives uh, venus retrograde is uh, one of the big things is old loves old partnerships old situations maybe even with how you earn your money uh with business partnerships those could show back up and it's not necessarily a good idea to invest in these situations take from the experience what you need to take from it but don't make long-term plans uh in these scenarios because as venus moves forward again in november you might find that um it wasn't a great idea somebody could ghost you whatever the case may be but things may not end up going the way that one had hoped the other thing is try not to uh make any ridiculous investments uh try not to uh make impulsive buys buying extravagant things and 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 avoid cosmetic procedures if, if at all possible uh like i said if you have procedures that are medically necessary to sustain life then by all means pursue those uh Mars, which is the planet that rules knives and surgeries and sharp things, is now out of retrograde. So that's fine, you know, depending on other things that might be going on in your chart. If you, if those of you out there who may be having something coming up this month that has to do with some sort of surgery, then, you know, Mars has got you covered. But if it's elective, if it's cosmetic, not so much. So just be aware of those things. All right, Aquarius, we have got the wheel reversed. This is a major arcana card. It's the 10th one. The next card is the king of wands in the upright position. And the last card is the page of swords. Okay. All right. We've got a major arcana. We've got two court cards. Aquarius, the wheel of the wheel of fortune talks about movement forward. It talks about progress. It, it indicates that sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. 
but it's still it's forever changing you know you, we're not going to stay in the same place with this card reversed this is saying right now there is um you you may be feeling like you're in a down period for whatever reason in the month of september you may feel like the momentum has slowed down or you know maybe you feel like things have come to a complete stop it is temporary like i said because wheels continue to turn it is temporary we, we just have to you know just hang on and make it through the down periods the next card is the king of wands and this is generally aries leo or sagittarius it doesn't have to be it can be somebody with you know just a very fiery energy confident strong passionate creative uh he's joyful you know life of the party type stuff he's the king though so he's been done that had all these experiences he's been on all these journeys uh and he has actually got a lot to offer uh, when it comes to maybe um, helping somebody else out because of the knowledge that he's gained from his life experiences. So it could be that the king is here to maybe help you get through this situation he's not looking at it he's looking at the page of swords the pages are uh and if i hadn't said before the court cards are generally people that we are dealing with in our lives the pages the knights the kings the queens or they are stages of development in ourselves so we got a king here and that could be somebody you're dealing with or it could be a stage of development that you're currently at. And with this being the king of wands, then there's still something in your life that is not too bad. And maybe you can use that energy to help get this wheel moving. Uh, the page of swords, on the other hand, is uh, um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. The pages are the first little people in the suit so they are the least developed but with the page of swords he like a breath of fresh air he, he comes in with new ideas this could also be about you getting some news about something maybe even some news about a young person with this king and this page here i don't know if this could be a father and son and 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 he's looking at um uh, at his his son or daughter you know, even though this is a masculine energy and this appears to be a male, but it, it's, it could certainly be a female. So, but and just um, to simplify things, I will refer to them um, as they appear. And, and these both appear to be masculine. So um, I feel like the King of Wands is taking a look there at the Page of Swords. And I think that he's happy with what he sees. He knows that there's potential. He knows that, you know, his ideas are fresh um, and full of potential. What the page doesn't have is the experience that the king has. And I feel like he's just kind of watching him do his thing but at any you know there's going to come a point where he's going to say look kid look son look daughter this is great you got the book sense you've got the great ideas your mind is fresh um but let me tell you about the place i've been let me tell you about the things that i've seen and how i've managed to maintain stamina and passion throughout because everything's not going to be uh easy schmeasy i feel like he's definitely got um he's got something to offer the page of swords but right now i feel like he's just kind of letting him do what he does because that there doesn't appear to be any trouble here um with that with that with that and the wheel's not like the, like i said the wheel is reversed 
the king may be letting the page know that look I, I, I know you're raring to go but it's not quite time to make a move you, you don't know enough yet you're definitely on the right track but you don't know enough yet you hadn't done enough yet um, it's going to take a while for you to get the momentum you need in order to get this wheel turning. I, I, even though the wheel's reversed, I don't see this as being a, a bad thing. I don't see it as being uh, problematic as much as it is just maybe some delays or even some needs to just wait for a little bit. So let's go ahead and, and pull a clarifier. got the seven of cups reversed and this talks about um, not fantasizing not dreaming coming into the real world and making things happen which the king has already done the king has already done this So, again, I just feel like that the king has something to share with the page uh, that um, helps the page have more than just an idea. This is the source of communication. The source of its communications, it's, uh, it's dialogue, it's information, uh, it's facts, figures, statistics but there's more to it than that and the king of wands knows this so i think that this is something that he wants to share but i think he's just going to kind of let the page do his thing for a little while and then he'll interject when he sees that the time is right and with the wheel reverse maybe the time is not quite right i want to pull another one the star card all right this is about hope and vulnerability and you know just being open to any and everything uh that can do you good and it is good because it's the star this is also a soulmate card soulmates don't have to be romantical i know romantical is not a word but i like it so these could very well be soulmates and the king of wands could be you know just giving this kid a little bit more hope i think the kid already has hope but he doesn't have any experience So I just really feel like that, you know, right now, things may be a little slow, at least the page feels that way, but even the king with all of his energy and all of his enthusiasm is saying, uh, you know, slow up, slow up, chapper. Let me show you how to make this real first. And, you know, it's definitely hope and all of that stuff out there so that's the way I see it I don't this is not a bad reading at all I just think that there is going to be some sort of delay with something in the month of September but the king is here to help and that's great so uh, yeah thanks for tuning in and if anybody would like to get a reading with me you can do that my email is in the description box below if you like the video please give it a thumbs up um, share subscribe and uh, leave me a comment let me know what you think maybe start a dialogue with other people feel like I missed something or uh, you see something that I don't, mention that too. All right. Thanks, Aquarius. Hope to talk to you guys again next month.